In today's NBA, there are a lengthy list of banned items, and although some of these products are completely justified, there are others that make you shake your head and asking why. And in today's video, I'll be talking about some of the weirdest and mind-blowing things that have ever been banned from the NBA. Starting off with the craziest shoes I've ever seen. These shoes are called the APL Concept Ones and could have been the greatest threat to the NBA if their technology went unnoticed and fell into the right hands. The APL Concept Ones, when released, had a technology built into them known as Load and Launch Technology, where in layman's terms, basically allowed any given player to get up to an extra 3.5 inches on their vertical. Imagine if LeBron or D. Wade had an extra 3 inches of vertical the league would be in panic trying to figure out how to stop them. Unfortunately for us NBA fans, we would never get to see that happen because the NBA would ban these concepts before they even got commercialized, stating that the league rules regulate the footwear that players may wear during an NBA game, and under league rules, players may not wear any shoe during a game that creates an undue competitive advantage. In light of that rule, players will never be permitted to wear the APL shoes during NBA games. Now although I can see how they justified banning a product like that, I can't see why in the heck they would ban this next product. For several games of the 2015-2016 season, Matthew Dellavedova wore a whoop bracelet on his wrist. The whole purpose of this whoop bracelet was to keep track of his heart rate and body temperature and posed almost no risk to any players on the court. Well after 15 games of him wearing this bracelet, the NBA decided that without reason, the whoop bracelet could not be worn during any games and that if players did, they would receive a hefty fine. I guess they didn't like how much whooping was going on on the court. Now, if you think banning that bracelet is a harsh ban, then how about the time where Rajon Rondo tried to make a fashion statement and the league got petty? During the 2010 season, Rajon Rondo started wearing his headband upside down to make a fashion statement and to look unique, but it wouldn't be long until the NBA would outright outlaw wearing the headband upside down or inside out. Now this ban might have been directed just at Rondo because as of late, there's been a few players that have worn their headbands upside down and gotten away with it, like Alex Caruso. Well you must know that by now, the NBA has a hard time letting their players have any sort of expression, which is why they would ban something as stupid as this next product. In the 2019-2020 season, a lot of players started to follow a trend with a different style of headband that the league had to address concerning its size and length. The ninja style headband was a huge trend and gave a fresh look to the NBA uniform, and players like Jimmy Butler, Jer Allen, and De'Aaron Fox started to rock them as they became the new style, but the NBA had to step in and enforce a ban concerning the size and length of the headbands as they posed a quote unquote safety issue. While many players felt that there was no safety issue at all with the headbands, they would still comply with the new rule to avoid any fines. While the bands I talked about before seemed pretty dumb, I bet you it doesn't come close to the next one I will be talking about. When you suffer a facial injury in the NBA, it's pretty standard to require some sort of facial protection, and when it comes to facial protection, the colors are also pretty limited, but it took players by surprise, when the league told them that if they wanted to play with a facial mask on, it had to be clear and not black. And although I think they have become more relaxed as you still see players rocking the black mask, it's not something they prefer. Well, you know that the NBA has banned clothing items of all sorts, but do you know that they also had to ban game celebrations? Well, when Sam Cassell played in the NBA, he was notorious for this one move, and he would be fined heavy for it. After hitting a clutch three in a game versus the Phoenix Suns, he could be seen dropping his hands to the groin area while bouncing them up and down to imply the juggling of large cojones, if you get what I mean. The NBA didn't like this, and in turn banned the dance from ever taking place on a basketball court while also giving any player that performed the dance a $15,000 fine. Although we talk about the bans that came as an inconvenience to players, I'd like to talk about this next ban that potentially saved a man's life. 
When Karan Butler made it to the league, he showed that he belonged with how he played and he would eventually go on to win a championship with the Mavericks. But there was a strange addiction that he couldn't kick and with the help of the NBA, this ban helped him at least keep his habit off the court. Of course, I'm talking about Karan Butler's strange addiction to chewing on straws. This man was so addicted to chewing on straws that he would be seen with a straw in his mouth more often than not. Karan was such an avid straw chewer that he could actually tell the difference in straws from different fast food restaurants. Now this was not a problem with the NBA, not until he brought this strange habit to the sidelines of one of the games where the league eventually had to step in and ban straw chewing from being anywhere on the NBA court, and for good reason. The last thing we want is to see a star fall to those circumstances. While the list of bans are long for the NBA, Hopefully they can become more relaxed in the future. Comment down below on what you think the craziest ban in the NBA is, and if you made it to the end of the video, make sure to give it a like. As always, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.